Hey, what's up guys? My name is Achono, and this is just going to be a little video discussing a potential future series idea. Um, so I was, I was just looking through my GitHub repositories one day, and if, by the way, if you don't follow me on GitHub, uh, the Cherno is my name, and you can follow me. But anyway, the point is, I was just looking through all these repositories um, that I have here, just seeing what I, what I've done with my life, and um, and I and I saw these old ones, right? And for some reason, I I forgot what Beneath was, and obviously it was a game that I made for Ladum Dare 29. And I I looked through this stuff, and this was like a while ago. This was like April 2014. This was yeah, just just over two years ago. Um, I was looking through like some of the graphic stuff and I was like, I remember this game. This is the game where I tried to do that really fancy lighting in OpenGL and like it kind of worked, but it was really slow. Um, and I read this description and I, I just thought to myself like, um, uh, what was the thing here? Um, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, the game might not run too well for some of you. This is due to the tile rendering, not the lighting. Each tile is rendered separately instead of being pushed into a vertex render simultaneously. That's a problem, and I may fix it later. And I was like, you know what? I should fix this. Like, it's been two years. Like, I back then, I knew barely anything about 3D rendering or 2D rendering, even in this case. Um, and I was, I had no real world experience. I was just a f kind of, I was still in university and I was just, in fact, that was only my second year of university and not that university taught me anything anyway. But the idea is that I was, I was a pretty big noob back then. And I could like, I was looking through this and I'm like, I could totally make this awesome. And I was like, hang on a minute. I've made a lot of Lot of Dare games, which kind of sucked, like in terms of like the code and, and like technically, like the ideas weren't even that bad. It's just that there were a lot of things that I wanted to do and I just didn't have the time to do them during Lotum Dare, right? And I just didn't like, especially like with the graphics and there were so many bugs in them. And I was like, you know what would be really cool if I did a series, a mini series, in which I kind of went through all of my old Lotum Dare games and basically fixed them and not just fix them, but kind of just go through the code, point out all of the things that are wrong with the code and then fix them, right? And I, I, I was thinking about this and I was like, that would be like, apart from being kind of cool because it would let me reflect on my, because literally like Ladum Dare is a pretty good indication of my journey um, as a game developer, right? Because I started like 2012, this was this was in 2012, my first Ladum Dare game. And that was like, I think I had less than a year of programming experience when I made Genesis. Um, and then all the way up to like growth, which was recently, which was like, I don't, when even was that? Like London 34, I guess, right? So like December, yeah, December. And that was like, I think I made this in like eight hours or something. It was very, uh, very short. But um, it's a pretty good indication of kind of like, not, not, not like my journey in terms of like my skills improving that much. Um, although of course they did, but it was more or less just a journey of like, hey, I remember making these games at points in my life. Um, and it's just, I thought it would be really cool to kind of reflect and of course, for, for those of you who have been following the channel for years, um, you would have remembered all these and I, I, I just thought it was, it would be pretty, a pretty cool idea to kind of reflect over them. Um, as well as actually point out like, Hey, I can't believe I did this. And also it would give me a chance and you guys a chance to see kind of what I think of the code that I wrote when I was just starting out. And I think that's really cool as well. Cause I mean, I, I actually did like, you might've noticed that not all the games are on GitHub. Uh, I recently found the source code to Genesis, which I didn't think I would. Um, it, it's just in a zip file, no version control, nothing. I didn't know how to use Git back then. Um, and uh, it's like, yeah, I just, I, I'm really excited just to jump in and take a look at what on earth I created. Cause I remember that game. Like I remember the horrors that I would have <laughs> done there. So it'd be kind of cool to go through that, fix that. And also it, it would be like a code analysis, right? And I would be like, this is what you don't want to do. Um, so it'd be kind of cool to go through that. And especially with some of the games like Beneath, I really want to take a look at what I did, like OpenGL wise, probably port this to modern OpenGL. Cause I'm sure it like, this was, I think Beneath was kind of almost 50, 50, like there were some OpenGL display lists going on and there were also like vertex buffers, right? So it was kind of a mix. Um, but going through that, fixing it, making it fast. Cause I remember this had trouble. Like I had trouble getting this game to run at 60 FPS. Um, but now I'm, I'm confident I could get that to run past a thousand easily. Um, 
So yeah, anyway, going through these, probably not evacuate because that's written in JavaScript. Maybe not even shift and growth. I don't really care about these two games, uh, these three games too much because they're actually not bad. But, uh, and evacuate is written in JavaScript, so whatever. Um, but these these kind of five games, uh, maybe not squared, maybe Genesis, Time, Shatter, and Beneath, going through them at least um, uh, and fixing them and talking about them and kind of pointing out programming practices and how I've evolved, I guess. Um, would be really cool. So if you guys are kind of interested in that idea, and you can see most of them are on GitHub, so I'll be pulling them from there with the exception of Genesis, which I will, which I do have somewhere on a hard drive, because um, I did find that recently. Going through them, you know, they're all written in Java as well. So just going through them and, uh, and talking about them, I think would be a really cool idea. Uh, if you guys also think it would be a cool idea, then leave a comment below and, and make sure you hit the like button on the video. I'll probably just look at the likes and see how many of this gets. Uh, but yeah, leave a comment as well, um, discussing, uh, you know, just if you have any other thoughts or if you're really excited for this or if you think it's kind of lame, um, <laughs> then uh, just leave your thoughts below. And uh, yeah, I, I think it'd be really cool. And uh, and yeah, man, this is pretty cool. Yeah, see like this stuff. I was looking through this, I'm like, basic lighting engine done and like all this stuff. And I'm sure that a lot, a lot of this code, like, cause that kind of looks nice. Right. But I'm sure that a lot of this code is, is terrible. Um, and, uh, and in fact, a lot of you guys, I remember were bugging me back in the day to go over how I did this tile lighting and stuff. So I don't know, it could be cool. Um, so with that in mind, cause I'm probably, I, I imagine you guys would enjoy this series. Um, so, and, and by the way, this is one of those series that doesn't really require me to spend time like preparing it, like game programming and all those other series. They're kind of like, you know, I have to set aside time to, to plan it and thus I, it takes more time to make the videos, but these I could just go through like and do them live, right? They don't require preparation. I'm just going to boot up Eclipse and just start doing stuff live, right? So it doesn't require any kind of production really. Um, which is why, uh, it'd be a nice kind of series that I can put up when I don't have time to do anything else. Um, but the idea is, uh, yeah, you know, just if you, since, since we'll be starting with Genesis, uh, if you guys have any questions relating to that game, you probably can't even play it anywhere. Um, because I don't think that I have, I don't even know. Um, but yeah, oh, I really should put that up somewhere, shouldn't I? I'm going to try and get like a executable of this up somewhere. <laughs> Um, but if not, uh, I'm sure some of you would remember it. Yeah, I really do. I really should. Cause I think that if I go to this, like this stuff is all I bet. Whoops. Let's see. Windows. That's not, surely that's not there. Yeah. That's not there. <laughs> this is very old source. That's going to be, yeah, this is very old. Um, so I might, um, and I was doing year 12 back then. That was fantastic. Anyway, um, I might try and put this up somewhere, but if you guys have any questions relating to this game, um, specifically like, I guess just technical questions or any other questions, uh, just leave a comment below. Um, and I'll be sure to cover them when I do the Genesis. So yeah, I, I don't know how many episodes each one's going to be. I guess it depends on how broken the game is and how much time I decide to spend fixing it. But, um, yeah, it'd be kind of cool. I really like the idea of going back to old projects, opening them up and making them kind of up to date, right? It's almost like a remastered kind of version, but not really because I'm not going to change any assets or anything, but it'll be like more or less the fixed kind of version, um, which will be pretty cool. All right. Anyway, leave your thoughts below, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and if you like the idea and if you support the idea and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.